Hello, this is Easy, and I'm going to be going over the script here. Uh, it's 2D to 3D, and this is uh, for tips and tricks. This is going to be part one. If I do something else, it'll be part two. Um, if you don't know what this script is, you'll have to uh, go see my other videos. I'll post a link below this video so you can see it. So I'm not going to get in full detail, but I'm going to show you a little troubleshooting that you might have when you're running this script. Um, first thing we want to do is uh, select a star here, the poly mesh, and you really kind of really need to be out in edit mode because um, you'll run into some errors if you don't. And if we go over to the alpha here and we select the uh, top right here, it's the fidget spinner, um, and we're going to be using the top and the side. Uh, in my previous videos, uh, the uh, shape needs to be black on the inside and the outside needs to be white so this ain't gonna work so we can do an easy fix here by going here and press an invert now this is what you want right there all right well that said is we're gonna go ahead and press top and then we're gonna press no here and give it a few seconds all right and here it is now I can scale this down and flatten it out like I want it, but since we're going to do some troubleshooting, um, I'm going to show you what we can do to fix that. So we need to go to the side now, since we did number one, then we're going to do number two. We do these in order, one, then two. So here's the side. Of course, uh, the image is white on the inside, and we need to kind of do the alpha and invert that. Then we're going to press number two. And we're going to get something like this here in a second. It's about done. And it got quite large here. And what happened is, um, we'll tip it down here. Um, the whole fidget didn't get a, you know, I don't see the whole fidget right here like I do in the image. So what we'll do is go to move. And we're just going to go ahead and scale this down to everything looks like it's going to fit just like I want it. All right, this make boolean mesh here comes in a different script. It doesn't have to do nothing to do with the 2D to 3D. All right, now what we want to do? Let's go to previous here. Now I want to clean this mesh up. Uh, it's kind of rigid around the side here. There's a couple things that we can do to fix that. All right, so we're going to go here and. Uh, we're going to go to geometry and the dynamesh. Uh, we're going to turn the sub project all the way to one. We'll do this to, I'll type in 333, press enter, and give it a few seconds. And we get something like this. All right. It's a, still a very dense mesh, and we don't want to go too low. We want to keep our shape. All right. Um, in this video, I want a little bit too low but it could go a little bit higher and make it more better so um, we're going to use uh, the script and with Z uh, remesh here and this thing is mirrored on the Y axis okay we're gonna mirror this with a Z remesh um, from top to bottom you can see where my cursor is at all right so we're gonna go ahead and just turn that off for a second right now and I need to slice this in the middle. So we're going to turn on polyframes. I'm on the control and shift, and I'm going to select here, and I'm going to select the slice curve. Uh, when I select here, uh, it's going to let me draw a straight line, even if these uh, polygons are jagged. I'm going to do it just about in the middle. Uh, you can experiment with this. Probably a little bit more to the top would be a little bit better, but I'm just going to try in the middle somewhat. All right. Uh, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and use the Z Remesher Guides. And then I'm going to hide part of this like this. All right. Then I'm going to go to the Stroke Palette. Then I'm going to the uh, Curve Function and Frame Mesh. And we're going to Control Shift Click and bring all this back. Then we have our guides here. Uh, if we go down here to the Z remesher, uh, it's got the uh, curve strength, and you can adjust this. Now, before I press the 
Z remesh. I want to go ahead and we're going to mirror this to make sure both the top and the bottom is uh, going to Z remesh the same or somewhat the same. And with that said, we'll just go ahead and press that. Okay, that it is done. All right, doesn't look too bad. Turn on polyframes here. And if we want to clean this up a little bit more, um, I want to keep the. Uh, I'm going to do ahead and smooth out the uh, edges a little bit. I can divide it, and it, it'll help. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you can do. You can throw a polish on it. All right, kind of rounded it up a little bit. Uh, we can do the relax on it. All right, uh, the top and the bottom of this is a little too rounded. The sides are kind of perfect. What I want, so I can go to the uh, let's say the flatten here, and wherever I move it to, which would be not that way, it would be in the Y direction here. Let's just type in 33 here, press enter, alright, now I flatten the top where I want it, so we do um, go into here and type minus 33, and flatten that out, and if we want to do this again, and select here, I'll turn our probably frame so we can see, select here, we're going to hide part of that, and stroke and let's give this one more try here make sure my uh, transform time and let's go ahead and give this a shot and like I said you could uh, mess with some of these settings we'll go over here um, the Z curve um, do whatever you want you think that's gonna work best for you if you want to move it up or down um, it's really gonna be Pen is kind of experimental, so okay, that's done, and it's actually made it a little bit better. I kind of like it like this. All right, then I want to turn on the polyframes, and you can see how this looks. This is how to kind of clean it up. Uh, you can divide this mesh. Uh, you can do the dynamic subdivision. Um, whatever you think is going to make it look better so that looks kind of cool right there everything's kind of got smoothed back out so this is part one of tips and tricks and troubleshooting